Netherlands' decision to use coal once again as a source of renewable energy. Are you concerned that Russia will cut off gas supplies to Europe overnight? Well, we have to look at this situation uh, step by step and day by day. I don't think it is in the Russian interest to do that uh, because they need the money. Uh, and we, at this moment, as Europe, are not yet yet gas independent. Uh, so I, I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to worry the whole day. Uh, we have to look at this uh, step by step, day by day. Yeah, the, the, the worry we had was that the Commission would rush into candidate states. And I must say that Ursula von der Leyen came up with a very balanced outcome of her talks with Zelensky. I think it was a tough assessment, brutally honest, on what still needs to be done for Ukraine uh, to be able, as European Council, to open the negotiations themselves, whilst at the same time coming to the conclusion that they are now at a stage where granting candidate status is possible. And of course, given uh, the geopolitical situation since the end of February, the, the horrible and, and, and uh, completely despicable aggression of Russia against Ukraine, of course, that is also part of, let's say, the, the situation in which we discussed this. Um, but I was a bit worried that the Commission might rush into, and I must say, I was mistaken. They really came off as a very thorough and fair assessment. <laughs> Well, on Western Balkans, of course, the situation differs country by country. I think uh, Bosnia knows that still needs to do things before you can grant candidate status. Uh, on Kosovo, there is some more progress, I think, uh, towards uh, visa liberalization. Not yet, but I think they are uh, making steps. Um, but my ma main worry is about North Macedonia and therefore is Albania, that because of the Bulgarian blockage on this uh, country and starting uh, accession talks, that is creating a lot of... Uh, a lot of irritation, and I understand that. And the French and the Germans, and we try to play a small role there, are um, uh, trying to negotiate an outcome. And I think the Bulgarians are now pushing for a breakthrough, um, which then still has to be acceptable for the North Macedonians. Uh, no, nothing is ever easy on the Balkans, uh, but here I think that you might see, well, 50 60 percent chance a breakthrough next week. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it's up for the, econo for the uh, economic specialists and the ECB to judge what the potential economic growth is in Europe. Uh, and I don't think it helps if, uh, if politicians start uh, to speculate. Again, we support Georgia's aspirations, absolutely. What formula do you have for Georgia? I, th I think we will agree with the Commission, and that is that there is a clear European perspective for Moldova, Ukraine and Georgia, that all three still have to do a lot of work. Um, uh, particularly Georgia, uh, to bring it to candidate status, that enough work has been done for Moldova and Ukraine now to grant candidate status, but that somewhat more work needs to be done for Georgia. But the European perspective and the ambitions are clearly noted. And, uh, and we have to work with them, and also bilaterally the Netherlands uh, is working on various programs with Georgia to help them uh, to uh, um, yeah, get to the level where we can grant uh, candidate status. The because the Commission is very clear on this, and, and I think we will follow the uh, Commission recommendation, which on the one hand says on Moldova and Ukraine, more progress has been made, enough to do, uh, to, to come to the decision to grant candidate states, but then for the negotiations to start, uh, still a lot needs to happen. Uh, and on Georgia uh, is, is one step behind, you could say, in the sense that there is a sort of potential uh, candidate status. But I, I would say here the glass is half full and not half empty. Uh, so if I was a Georgian today, I hope people will see that there is a clear commitment from Europe uh, to recognize the European ambition, but also saying to uh, telling Georgia, come on, a little bit more needs to be done. Thank you. I, I really have to go. Uh, symbolic well, and, and this is, I think, the strength of the Commission assessment. Uh, my worry was that, uh, of course, there is the war, which is which is horrible and and despicable, and 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 we completely. Um, um, uh, 
would want this to stop. That's clear. Um, but my worry was that that might lead to a sort of rush towards candidate status for Ukraine. And here the system is also crucial. It is not an emotional system. It is a political system. And I must say that the Commission really came up with a very balanced um, outcome. Brutally honest. Still a lot, 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 a lot needs to be done. But enough has been done to grant candidate status. Thank you. I really have to go. Thanks, everyone.